Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go over the range selection tool in Waveform. Now this feature was debuted in version 10. We're looking at version 11 at this point. And the way you do range selection in Waveform is to hold down Shift and Option and you'll see that the normal cursor changes to this eye bar. Then if we drag while holding down Shift and Option, we can select a range over a selected clip. And then we could do something like grab from the header and just pull that range free, which allows for an easy way to rearrange or maybe cut up a beat or something like that. I'll hit Command Z to undo that. Now you can also use your normal cut, copy, paste commands like Command X to do that selection. So I'll make sure I've got the clip selected, Shift Option, We'll drag a different selection here and hit Command X, and that will cut that piece out. Then we can go out somewhere else and paste it back in using those kinds of commands. So I'll undo that again. Now I'm going to drag another selection and pull it free. Make sure you've got the clip selected or the clips selected. I'll drag a range of a few bars. I'm going to drag that to another track. Now, assuming I've got multiple clips selected across multiple tracks, you can do these range selections across as many tracks as you want. So I'll hold on Shift Option to get the range select tool. I'm going to drag over two tracks at the same time and then hit Command X to delete that section. So that works across multiple tracks. I'll undo that and you can see I can also drag that selection by just dragging it out by the header of one of the tracks. Now another thing you can do if you set it up is you can set the in and out markers using this range selection tool. I'm going to show you the setup for that. You do need to create a macro and then map it to a keyboard shortcut. We're going to use Alt L or Option L to do that range selection. So what I want to be able to do is pull the range selection like this hit a keyboard shortcut, and then set the in and the out marker across that range. To do this, go to Settings, and then go to Keyboard Shortcuts. And down at the bottom, click Show Script Editor to open the script editor if it's not already open. And then we can add a macro by clicking Add New Macro here, and then give it a title. I'm going to call it set in, out, over, range. Now right click in the script editor area, go to basic actions, markers, and right here, this is the one we want, set loop range from selected range. It puts in all the code that we need, and then you'll see that you're under your macro, click on the macro, click plus, and now we'll put in option L, or Alt-L if it was on a PC. And now we should have it set up. So I'm just gonna click anywhere to clear my range. So I wanna set my in and out marker between bar three and bar seven. So I'll hold down Shift Option to get my range selection, drag it to bar seven, and now I'll do Option-L, and voila it works. So those are the basic things you can do with rain selection in waveform. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.